In this video, I'll show you how to download YouTube subtitles as Google JSON files and then convert them to SRT subtitle files. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this sounds like a lot of jargon, but it's pretty simple. I'll show you how and if you're interested, hopefully you can learn something from this video. Now, uh, let's assume the video has subtitles, whether they are auto-generated or somebody uploaded the subtitles. This is one of my videos and I believe I have uploaded subtitles or maybe a transcript that has been converted to subtitles. Now, uh, for this to work, we'll need to inspect code. Uh, it's simple, just right click in the white space here and uh, this is Google Chrome, I'll click on inspect. And once I click on inspect, I'll need to click on network and from the network section, uh, you'll see a bunch of things right inside here uh, that you can actually work with. Now, what you need to do here is you need to click on subtitles stroke closed captions, click on that. And once you click on that, uh, you'll see whatever has been uh, uh, produced there. And then let's just refresh this page. Let's refresh it. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes. Now, once that starts playing, you'll notice VTT. What I want us to do now, I just want us to uh, do a filter for timed. And you'll notice that there's something called timed text and you'll see the size is a two uh, KB file. Uh, so if you look at it uh, closely, you'll notice that towards the end there, uh, there's the extension for language. Lang is equals to English. Format is equals to a JSON. Uh, let's just double click on this or just uh, double click on that. You'll see the tab open up and then it's going to automatically download a text file. If I click on this text file, you'll see that uh, it's just a couple of things here that may or may not make sense. Uh, but this is a Google JSON file. And if you can see uh, right here, you'll see time starts in milliseconds, 240 milliseconds, duration in milliseconds, 5680. And you'll see that the segment has can you edit a PDF file in Canva, this particular segment there, and then a stroke and N for adding a uh, like move to the next line. Simple answer is yes, and this whatever. So this is what this particular file looks like. It may look intimidating, but it's not. But this is the subtitle file in form of a JSON file, a Google JSON file. So I want us to use this file right inside subtitle edit. So. Uh, you'll need subtitle edit, obviously. So uh, we can actually just uh, do this. Uh, let's assume, go to the downloads and then just drag and drop that particular file. And once you drop it there, automatically subtitle edit will uh, notice that it's a Google Play JSON file, .json, and you'll see the file here. If I press on F2, you'll see what we, uh, we had uh, right here. This is what... Uh, is available but it begins from the event section uh, there's no uh, the positions and styles whatever this is not available uh, when you down uh, when you add it uh, to uh, subtitle edit but this is your particular subtitle file now let's press f2 again to go back to this particular uh, view uh, and we want to change the format pretty simple just click on the drop down from the format here and then we'll go up that's where subrip or srt subtitles are found just click on that uh, that has changed the format if i click on f2 again you'll now notice something that is more familiar in terms of an srt file uh, which uh, is easy to understand and work with you can actually press on control s to save this f as a subrip that's okay that looks fine if, if we actually go back to this section let's just refresh this it's this particular file if i double click on it you'll see that now uh, this is the SRT file that we have. And then uh, let's look up our other file. This is the uh, Google Play JSON file that we downloaded uh, for our video. And this is uh, the SRT subtitle file. Uh, looks uh, pretty different, but it's the same information, just converted. But uh, simply put, that is how you can actually download subtitles uh, super fast uh, 
from YouTube using uh, the inspect option, uh, clicking on network and then filtering uh, by the time, but always make sure the subtitles and closed caption feature is on. And I also believe uh, that uh, you can also uh, do this using subtitle edit online. Let's just see if uh, we can actually do that. Subtitle new. Uh, let's just uh, open. Uh, let's see if we have the option to drag and drop this particular file here. Uh, it's not possible. Let's just browse. Downloads. Click on that file. Let's click on open. Yes, it does open. So you can actually just open it online if you don't have or if a subtitle edit is not available. I believe it's not available on Mac. And then subtitle save or download or even export plain text. You can merge all lines, remove styling, download plain text. And when you look at it, that is what is going to it's going to look like. You can also save or download and then save it as a subrip encoding UTF minus eight with bomb download. And we have it there. It looks like what we have, uh, I believe in this particular one. So that is uh, more or less an in-depth video of how you can download subtitles from YouTube by inspecting code. You download uh, the Google Play JSON file. That is the time text. And then once you do that, how you convert it to an SRT subtitle file and you can actually export as plain text uh, using subtitle edit. Uh, and if you in, in actually uh, this particular version, just go to file, export and then go for plain text. And then you'll see the option that we just uh, had in the online version. Uh, you can do that. So that's it for this video. My name is David and I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.